Hi, everyone. Ooh! Surprise! Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my Pokemon TCG random opening. If you want to sing, go to a karaoke bar. Or if you want elaborate details on how the series works, then check out the first video. I prefer the latter. I'm going to open something that has been long due to be opened. I think I showed this off probably a few episodes ago. This is the Pokemon TCG, I think it's the Shining Legends Treasure Chest or something like that. I don't know the exact name. Oh, it's right here. Pokemon TCG Shining Legends Collector Chest. So in this video, I'll be opening this, but it'll be like a sort of like a semi-opening. You shall see soon enough. So in this chest, you get, let me focus this up so you can see it better. There we go. See it up close and better. Uh, you get five Shining Legends booster packs, three foil promo cards, a coin, two sticker sheets, a collector's album, a notepad with four pencils, and a code card for the online card game. Now, will everything spell out when I open the tin? Oh yes, so I'm gonna put it right side up here. It's like Zelda. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, move the flap all the way down. Oh, it stops right there midway. So I'm, I might as well just do this. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. You have the Gladios foil promo card. 110 HP with the moves Breakthrough and Lagoon Flight. Then there is Latias, 100 HP with the ability Flight Support. Your Latios in play has no retreat cost and Misty Gale for the move. And then there is a Pikachu pro, uh, Foil Promo card with 60 HP and the moves Tail Whap and Spark. Along with an upside down Mew Coin. Now it's right side up. So I'll just put this over here somewhere. Don't need to take it out or anything like that now that I've already showed it to you guys. All right, let's put this over here. I'll save that for last. Here are your pencils. Who uses pencils anymore? I mean, we have the, uh, I assume students in school are using those clicky pencils, the one with the very thin, like, uh, half millimeter or 0.7 millimeter lead or something like that. I prefer to have that as pencils and not these things. I assume that most schools don't even have a pencil sharpener anymore, so these are kind of almost, um, irrelevant. So there is that, and then there is, here's one of the sticker sheets. I need to actually use these stickers for some other purpose. I will let you guys know about it, I promise. It's for a little project I'm putting together, so I gotta keep the stickers. And here's another sticker sheet. Of course, there would be two in this collector's chest anyways, and this one has three stickers, so five stickers total. Not very many at all. Yeah, I'll leave this over here. Here's the notepad. This is the same design. Yeah. Wait a minute. There's two back here. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Why are there three pieces of paper on the back of the cardboard here? See how it's like going to the spine up here? Like it's it's pressed on there on purpose, so that's stupid. Oh, whatever, it's not like I'm using this or anything. I'm also put this with the pencils. And here's the uh, the other thing before the booster packs. Here's the collector's album. There's that. Might as well, well there's a piece of plastic I'll take out of here. Wow, what a mess I made already. So put this in... Nah, I'll just put it up. No need to show it since I already have the slot machine already shown there. And here are your booster packs. There are five total. Let's see what we got for cover arts. Ooh, we got some duplicates here. So, in this episode, I will not be opening all five of these packs. Rather, I'll be opening, well, Depends on what I get for the slot machine, of course. But I will put four of these packs up with the other booster packs, so I'll open those a little bit later on in a different episode. 
So I might as well take these four, since there's duplicate packs, or duplicate artworks of these packs, and put these up. But there's a chance I'll open this one with the shiny Mew on the front. Now, I was promised a code card in the tin. It's not in this little booklet. It's not in the notepad. Not in the sticker sheet. Maybe it was in the... I know where it is. Give me a second. It's in this thing, isn't there? There it is! So, I am also take the... Oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to take the other code cards out. I mean, uh, the promo cards, that is. Oh, I'm not with it today. Come on out! Latius and Latios. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's two. Now I can get the... Uh... Oh, hang on. I don't want to show the code card yet. I'll show it a little bit later on in the episode, but not right now. Not until I'm actually ready to open the packs up. You know what? Let's get the new coin out of the way as well. Since I'm already here. And I'm already this far. Or this deep. There. I guess I'll give you an up close and personal look at it. Let's focus this up. Look at his big head. Jeez. I suppose it rep represents shiny Mew. Shiny Mew as well because it's blue. Alright. Let's... What garbage I have around here. All this plastic and whatnot. But at least I now found the code card, so let's put this code card right there with... Well, I'll put it over here on the side for now. Okay, now, where was I? So, whoops, focus to that. That's better. So, I'm going to guarantee open a few packs in this episode, and they're going to be these. I'll make sure everything's falling. Okay, there we go. I have... Five Crimson Invasion Dollar Tree Booster Packs. And strangely, I have artwork of Silvali for all five of them as well. I will guarantee open all five of these packs in this episode, so they will not be involved in the slot machine at all. So let's take this stuff and put it to the side for now. Now I can get to the slot machine after all that long wait. At least you got to see an opening of the Shining Legends Collector's Chest, so there's that going for it. Anyways, in addition to that stuff, if I land on yellow, I'll also open the Shining Legends Booster Pack. Or if blue, I'll open this plus an Agent Origins Booster Pack. Or if red, I'll open these two packs plus a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Pack. So it gets better each stage, of course. Alright. Again, for recap, this is yellow, blue, and red. And no matter what happens, I'll still open the five Dollar Tree Crimson Invasion packs guarantee. And of course, the wild spot is anything goes, no holds barred. And the plus four, the black plus four spot is the booster pack bonus round. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Ooh, surprise, <laughs> anything goes. So let's see here. I do want to open that Shining Legends pack, so let's keep that into play and keep that. And of course, this is going to be guaranteed to open. I'm also set that right here as well. But let's put these two packs up for now. And if you give me a moment or two, I'll be right back to determine what I'm going to open for anything goes. So give me a moment. Okay, I know what I want to do. I put up the Agent Origins. Agent? Ancient Origins Booster Pack up with the other packs. That, of course, the Ancient Origins Pack was from the Powers Beyond 10. I will keep the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Pack. I'm not sure if it was this one I kept, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to throw in another one anyways. But also, I might as well toss in a Flash Fire Pack as well. So this is what I'm going to open in this episode. Wow. Five Crimson Invasion Dollar Tree Packs. A Shining Legends pack, two Guardians Risings, and a Flash Fire. So that is four traditional packs and five Dollar Tree packs. Nine packs total. That means there's going to be a total of five code cards. But like always, take one code card per person, per video. Hashtag Sharon is Karen. Let's get to that code card first. Get that into focus. 
All right, the collector's chest online code card. First one gets it. Three, two, one. There. Hey, hey, if you put, yeah, if you put the N before the 64, it'll be Nintendo 64. So there. Now let's go with the Dollar Tree booster packs first. I think I'm gonna open, of course, the Flash Fire pack last. The Shining Legends pack will be second to last after the, the Guardians Rising pack, so I'll put it to, like in that order. Okay, I guess it doesn't really o matter what order I open these in, so I'll just do it like that. Okay, and no, I'm not gonna open these upside down. First, Crimson Invasion pack. What will I get? Might as well put the tr trash over where the collector's chest plastic is. Okay. Let's focus this up. Common is a chime echo. Uncommon is a dash and pouch and the chase card. Give me something good. Three, two, one. No, Maggie Carp. Oh, wait. Oh, that must be a a Team Rocket Maggie Carp machine. I've seen it before in the anime as well. Yeah. I think that Magic Cup's like running away because he doesn't want to date it. I wouldn't blame him. Okay, so nothing that pack. Darn Chun. Come on. Dollar Tree packs. Yeah, good card. I've only pulled like what? Two good cards? Maybe three really good cards in Dollar Tree packs, so it's not like the best thing to get, but whatever. Common is a stuffle. The uncommon is Come on, there we go. A comma O and the chase card. Come on. Three, two, one. Okay, I got a rare camera up, so hey, better than getting this in a regular pack, so we'll set this over here for now. Okay, third. Dollar tree booster pack. Give me a foil. Get out of here, trash. Let's see what I get in this pack. Focus this up. Got a common spoink. Uncommon is a Kakuna. And the chase card is a 3, 2, 1. No, Mr. Travis! Darnshun Shoe. Just one rare so far. Not good. Let's see what you have to do. Dollar Tree Pat. Oops. Okay, first one. Common. Weedle. Uncommon. Peekin' Red card. Is it like a peepin' Tom? You pervert! Anyways, chase card. Three, two, one. Got another rare. It's a Oranguru. Join, uh, join along with camera up there. Alright, last Dollar Tree pack. So just two regular rares so far. So I guess that's fair, I suppose. But I really want to see a foil. This is my last chance for this video. Let's see what I get here. Got a, a lonely Geodude for a common. The uncommon's another Kakuna! Are you serious? Now, that last chase card is a 3, 2, 1. Another Miss Trevis! Hang on a second. Time out. Did I just get both a Kakuna? Yeah, I got both Kakuna and Miss Trevis in the same pack. Even though I got a Geodude instead of a Spoink. That's crazy. Uh, just two rares. Uh, that's just so-so, but no foils at all. Okay, now let's get to the regular pack, starting with Guardians Right. Again, like I said, I'll have to, re like to repeat myself. If you've already taken the code from the collector's chest, don't take any more. If you know of anybody who likes to collect code cards as well, have them join along with my videos so they, they can get their share as well. But again, one card per person, per video, hashtag, Sharon is Karen. So there's that first booster pack code card. Thankfully I got my trash, well I don't know why I'm putting it over there, I have trash over there. Now, I got an Angie card in this game, uh, in this pack, right? So, uh, I'm gonna say it's a... There's no such thing as a dragon energy, as long as I know of. How about I go with Psychic? Water! Boo! Alright, focus that up. Got a water energy. A multi switch. Sableye. Fletchinder. Bellsprout. Gligar. 
Patrat, Snow Run, and Murkrow. It looks like Murkrow is drooling, but he has like a pearl necklace in his mouth. Okay, reverse foil. Give me a rare card. Yes, Switch Cash Rare. 130 HP with the moves Water, Pulse, and Landslip. Discard the top three cards of your deck. Ooh, I don't like doing that in a card game. 100 damage for each energy card you discard in this way, so it can be powerful, but discarding three cards from the top of your deck, I don't think it's really worth it. You want to do that to your opponent. That's key to one of the keys to winning a fight. Okay, let's see what I get for the rare card. Come on, give me another foil. Three, two, one. If only Corio, stupid poop rare. Shoo. I'll have you over here. Okay, three packs left. Here's the second Guardian Rising pack. Can I get Tapu Lele GX? That'd be so nice right now. Can you see that? There. Yeah, I might as well put all the code cards in the trash. They're already ripped up. So, let's see. For the energy. I'm going to say it is a lightning energy. Get it wrong again. Serious? Okay. Fairy energy. Slowbro. Brooklet Hill. Beware! <laughs> if... Beware that card! Jeez. Tentacle. Helioptile. Petalil. Chansey. Lucky card. And Gothita. Reverse foil. Uh, uncommon vanillish. I don't want any ice cream. I want green peas. Okay, what am I gonna get for the uh, rare card? Can I get a foil? Three, two, one. Okay, I got a foil Alolan Golem with 160 HP. And it's that long move again, like I remember. The electromagnetic rock wrecker, and then this heavy slam. Okay, so, okay, I'll take that. Now, I have yet to get a really good foil card from Shining Legends. I pull foil cards because they're guaranteed in each pack anyways. I'm talking about uh, GXs or even those shiny Pokemon. There's also the prototype U2 as well. So again, just regular foils is all I pull in these packs so far. Let's change that with this pack. Okay, so there's that. Get in that trash. There is an energy in this pack as well, so let's see. I'm gonna say it is a... Hmm. I'm gonna go with metal energy. Glass! No way! Can I get a good foil in this pack? Let's see what I can get here. Grass energy. Sophocles. Super Scoop Up. Arbok. Larvesta. Balloon. Toracat. Plusle. And... Zora. Okay, reverse foil. Can I get a rare? Nope. Common Torkoal. <sighs> Give me a good foil. Give me a shining card at least. Three, two, one. Nope. Foil Manaphy. Gee, I think I've gotten this one already. I don't remember, but still. I'll just put it here nonetheless. <clears throat> Maybe I picked the wrong Shine Legends pack from that set of five from the collector's chest, so. Again, we'll have to see in a different episode. Alright, down to the last pack. XY Flashfire. Can I get the Secret Rare Dragon Type Mega Charizard EX? Here we go, baby. The booster packs are just stacking up over there. Okay, final code card. Seven pack. One, two, and three. What will I get? Focus this up. For the final pack, I have a Luxio, Maractus, Nuzleaf, the Bebe, Stunky, Rosalia, Binacle, and Panko. Reverse foil is a common Binacle. Last card. Come on, Charizard. Show yourself. Three, two, one. One. Quillfish? No, I don't want those stinking quillfish. Counterattack quills? This Pokemon is your active Pokemon. It is damaged by opponent's attack. Even if it's knocked out, put two damage counters on that one. Still. 
It's poop. So all I got is a reverse foil rare, wish cash, a foil manaphy, and a foil Alolan Golem. So out of the nine packs, that's well there's also the two rares from the Daltry pack, but still that's just eh, so so. Nothing spectacular, no ultra rares, so that's the sucky part about it. Well, that's as random as as random gets, I suppose, and you guys got five code cards out of it, so I guess it all works out. So, okay, that's going to do it for this random opening. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you later, and like I always say, take care.